Good morning everybody, Fishing the Odds here. Today we are doing some uh, small river fishing while everything's blown out. And uh, just going to run some bobber eggs in the hole and hopefully we can get a fish. It's going to be a good day, don't you think, Kelly? Oh, it's been a good day already. Just hopefully some fish want to come and play, have some fun. It'll be nice. Yep, hit that subscribe button, guys. Go check the link below. i got some clothing. Fishingtheodds.com. Go check it out. It's in the description. Also, I got my Amazon affiliate links down there. Click those and you can see everything we're using in the in the video. Do this, Kelly. Oh, we're down, baby. Subscribe. Bring it. Early morning shots of the man himself. There he is. He's gone. I went right through there too. Every cast? Yeah, every cast you go through there. I went right in there too. Twice. Quiet. Been there. Quiet. <laughs> did you see him flashing? Yeah, I did. Oh, that was you? I might have spooked the hole now, though. Yeah. Yep. Just keep casting. Got him. Look at that guys, nice little buck, it's gonna cut good man, pretty chrome fish in the system this time right now, it's the second fish I lost in this whole barber now, let's go get another one, let's get it on the bleeder, keep the fish. That's a jack, dude. Nice. That is a nice little jack, man. Bonus fish. Keep it in the water unless you want to keep it. That's up to you, dude. Bonus fish. Bring it up then. If you're gonna keep it. Is it hatchery? Nice. Look at that. Chrome hog. <laughs> dude, but hey, that's actually a perfect eater jack, man. Oh, yeah. It'll be nice. Heck yeah, dude. Bobber drain. Here. Good stuff, dude. Huh? Let's get some more fish, man. Put it on the rope with my fish. Alright, guys. So we, uh, we pulled two fish out of here. Uh, we're seeing some rollers still, so we know they're in here. The egg bite has died. We had probably six bobber downs on eggs total. Uh, three, four of them 
stuck and we landed two of them. So I'm, break, I'm breaking out the spoon. I had a spoon bite. Um, sometimes getting these spoons to flutter and twitch can get these fish to go. I've seen it too many times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch colors since uh, this spoon's already been fished. I'm going to show you guys what I got here. Damn GoPro gets in the way of everything. I've already fished the blue and silver. So what we're going to do is throw a... We got red and copper, man. Oh my gosh. That is such a dynamite color. Look at that. So I'm going to leave that spoon in there. That little bit of line. I had to cut that off because I snagged the spoon. So we're going to rig up this red and copper, and then, hopefully, get another coho out of this hole. Because we're only going to give it another half an hour. Once these fish stop biting in, that pressure's in that hole. You, you go through your tackle box, if they're not taking it, you need to move on. So uh, you can spend all day trying to catch the same fish, or just get into some biters, you know what I mean? So we're going to try to get these fish with a few more things in our tackle box. Let's see if we can't get this fish to go. I'm just going to twitch a spoon in there and, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, money. Just keep walking down. It's a good way to fish a hole, guys. Start at the top, twitch, work your way down. Run some bait in here first thing in the morning. Then throw some more aggressive stuff. Start out with a twitcher. Move to the spinner neck. Move down with a couple of casts, a couple of steps. Yep, right there. yep, yep. There was one right there. I literally just watched that. See what I'm saying? I can side drift the spoon. Wow, look at that. You see that, buddy? Yeah, but it's on the bank over there. We're going to be over there in a second. All right. So the bobber bite has definitely done. Right there. There's a good chance we let the whole rest come back to it. There's a good chance. There could be another bite or two in here. Just get that nice natural drift. You want that bait caster free flowing. Don't want to inhibit the drift on that. Leaving the hole, guys. Way to cross the creek, get back to the truck, and have some lunch. Here.
made it back to the truck, boys. Hee! There we go. Got the grill. Gonna be doing some grilling. That was a good little first first hole area, huh? Oh yeah, man. Lucky enough to get two fish to come play. Well, we had like four or five to come play, but yeah, I had one on for a little bit. These guys wanted to hang out for the rest of the day. Yeah, they sure did. They'll eat good. Two bucks. Gonna cut up nice. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Get the grill out, buddy. Start grilling. All right, guys, check it out. Got those fish in the odds hoodies. I got about three or four different designs. You can check them on the website, um, fishingtheodds.com. You go on there. There's like, like I said, four different designs. And then there's a whole bunch of different colors. There's black, there's blue, red, gray, light gray, dark gray, all kinds of good stuff. I also got hoodies, uh, different style of hoodies, not just one style of hoodie. And then I got, I got what do I got? Long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, tank tops, mugs, tumblers, everything like that. So go check it out, guys. Right now we're gonna grill some, grill up some, uh, some hot dogs, and then get back to catching fish. Here, you hold one end, I hold the other. Jalapeno chips. Mm. If you haven't helped your buddy open a bag of chips, you're not real friends. Look at that, boys and girls. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. See, I broke mine again. Did you break yours? Nope. That's why I let you open it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Sometimes I'm just better than you at things, Billy. You know? Looks pretty so, even today. No, yeah, pretty even. I don't know. Size matters. <laughs> mm. Yeah, dude, I hooked something real big. So big my rod was bent. I couldn't even move it. Couldn't even get it off the bottom. What do they call those? Tree pounders? <laughs> Jalapeno cheese. What are they, brats? Jalapeno cheese brats. Yeah. They're like the fake brats. They're good. The real, the real brats are a little too rich. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't really do the real brats either. I made this soup at 4 in the morning. It's 11 up too. I'm going to film us getting in the truck and back out and even too. Okay. I didn't do that in the last video, but that will be sick, huh? Here we go, driving to the next hole. All right, folks, so we just got down here to another spot. Um, we're gonna see if there's some fish in this hole. Look at this hole, guys. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Well, that, that was a bite. That was a bite. He's there.
native fish. I'm gonna give him a release. He bit that good. Nice. Nice. Got to this beautiful hole behind me. Look at this. I'm going to do some bobber and egg fishing here. It's the last hole of the day. We've got about an hour left, guys. Stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Let's pull out one more fish. Go on, go on, go on. Called it. On camera, called it. Well, he's in a good spot right there. Here. Hold on. No, no, no. Don't go here with the camera. No, no. Pinned it, dude. Bobber went down. I wasn't even looking. Kelly goes, "Your bobber," and then I, cause I was trying to pop from one hole to the other. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Perfect. He go. There we go, guys. Looking right there. Mm-hmm. It does look good up there. Just hard to fish. I don't think I ever like. Frugal and I fish spinners up in there, but I don't think I've done anything else up in there. Got him. Yes. Yes, buddy. Yes. I'm filming with my chest right now. Why you still have him? I still have him. Thanks, dude. I'm so stoked right now. It's mostly going to be chest footage. That looks like a chrome hatchery fish. Chrome. It's hatchery. Coming on the bank, buddy. Well, just be careful. Nice hen. Oh, don't horse it. Don't horse it right here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Don't fall in the water for that. Covered in those freaking fish things. Yeah, 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 you climb up there. Yeah, you're gonna have to, we're gonna have to use the GoPro footage and all of that. Look at that, guys. First cast in the new hole. Twitch. 
Boom. Dude. All right, now hold it up sideways for a fix. All right, so last fish of the day, last hole of the day. Kelly and I both pulled a coho out. That was pretty rad. Check it out. Look at that. Kelly's coho. We're going to head back to the truck. Heading back to the truck right now and then we're going to we're going to get on. How do you how do you feel about that? Dude, I pointed out this water. I pointed out this water and I'm like there's got to be a fish there. It looks good. One cast. He's talking about the upper part of this hole, so there's an upper part of this hole up here. Where I pulled my fish out is this lower part here, bobber and eggs. And then I let Kelly throw some bobbers and eggs in there real quick. And he had three bobber downs, nothing stuck. And he goes, let me let me pitch a let me pitch a spinner or a twitching jig up in this upper pocket. That looks nice. Looks like fish is gonna sit there. Sure enough, he throws a twitching jig in there first cast. Fish on. That's probably good. You guys are probably wondering why I'm filming <laughs> from my little GoPro because I got moisture in the lens on my on my nice camera. So I apologize for some of the fights there. That's gonna do it for us today. I released a few natives. Or two natives. I, At least two. I released two natives. <laughs> I forgot. But I also lost a really chrome fish this morning, bobber and eggs. All my fish came on bobber and eggs. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And then his fish came on hardware. I had so. the whole gambit today. I got this guy on eggs, this guy, or girl, I should say, on twitcher, yep. and then I lost one on the spinner. So we touched some fish today. We had some fun time fishing a small space and uh, another good Saturday. I think all in all we went six for 12 or 14 or something like that. It was a good day. I mean, we hooked, we had a lot of bobber downs, a lot of chances, a lot of missed opportunities, things like that. Um, we, we hiked some pretty cool spots, really, really beautiful location out here today. and. Uh, Overall, like like he said, we just had a great time in a small area, man. I mean, these rivers are kind of blown out, most of them. So yeah. we want to come out today, though. Everything's on a drop. One thing about the small systems is when you got rivers that are blown out, they'll they'll fish oftentimes. So uh, that's why we made the decision to come out here today and, and check it out, man. We got some fish. We got three some keepers. fish. Got some meat for the freezer and three keepers. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. And look at that. Go check out those hoodies on the website, fishingtheodds.com. We'll see you on the river.